Hello to all, Romanist here, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be playing some Operation Harsh Door Stop. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, wait a minute, Romanist, this is Operation Harsh Door Stop? Well, this is the SDK. This is one of the maps that I'm making right now, which I am probably almost finished with it, I suppose. The map in question is Sharky Peninsula from Battlefield 2, one of my favorite maps from that game. I'm just gonna spawn in. Now the reason why I say it's almost done is because look at all this flat shit. I gotta I gotta like make it bumpy a little bit. But aside from that, I'm pretty much golden regarding this map. I did attempt to make this once before, but unfortunately it was all like messed up regarding the terrain and stuff, so I had to restart from scratch. Except I had like the buildings like copied over from the original map. So huge thanks to Edcast for helping me out with that. We're just going to wait for the enemy to capture the point, because I'm giving them a fair chance, and like last time, well, in one of my other recordings of this video. Now, the reason why it's on, on Unreal Engine 4, like, and not in the application itself, is because I don't know how to do that. But I am pretty much just... I'm eager to make more maps for this game. Now, as you can see, I pit the Americans against the insurgents, because why not? I feel like it. Soon this will go up to 300, because... I feel like it. that. That means the 32 player variant for the map, excluding all the capture points that have now. 16 player variant, which we're playing on right now. From, you know, 2011 or something like that with the neutral capture points. I've had a very good fun playing this map. Although it's almost finished. Now I heard that the AI will always spawn at the main base for some reason, and they'll not, like, get out until the enemy has captured, like, or the opposing team has captured, you know, this point right here, which is sad, but the AI will get improved, you know, sometime in the future, which I'm excited for. Maps that will be included in to OHD from me regarding custom maps that you guys might see. For example, uh, if you've played Ravenfield before, I'll probably add in Desert Strike and Lost Village to the roster of maps that I'm making for OHD, the custom maps.
engagements regarding this particular parking lot would be up for some really interesting games. AI is basically like around? No, they don't go around. They just go through the parking lot into the this I still get a name for the parking lot. I'll try to name the embassy. When Steam Workshop comes to this game, I'll totally up Like as soon as Steam Workshop becomes a thing, because this map looks really nice so far. I'm really enjoying this quite a lot. It took me some time to actually like press play and then press stop or something like that. When it comes to basically just trying to get to like the sticky player variant of this map. Now there are a more stuff that I Seven minutes. As I said, this will get expanded to like 300 bots. Well, not 300 bots, 300 tickets. Because of the larger map. I don't know, would it be, would you guys, I don't know if you guys would prefer 250 or 300, but I'm shooting for 300 regarding uh, that particular thing. And we have another match. Yeah, I gotta rename this to Insurgents Deployment. Okay. So this is a walk, this is like a walking around thing. So if you're not interested, then, you know. So this is the rest of the map. I'm going to be just walking. Or just running around, I guess. Now this down here is the southern part of the map. Obviously, there's more. There's probably going to be more terrain over here. Just some trees and whatnot. Right here is like the main road. As well as a gas station. Now, you guys. If you've played Battlefield 2, you haven't seen this before, but I added it in because I feel like it. And if you don't like it, then, uh, I don't care. <laughs> but this gas station right here is, is, should be an interesting landmark, pretty much. I guess, even though it's not really that important for this particular, uh, AAS variant.
Now keep in mind guys, I'm running this on 8 gigabytes of RAM, and the minimum is 16. So, I should be fine there, pretty much. This is the overlook area. I mean, also, like, you could, like, as I said, well, not as I said, well, you could actually climb up this particular construction building. As well as other buildings, I think. Let's see, yep, you can, you can also, like, get up that building and actually just pick off some enemies. So there's a lot to be had here. There's the city entrance. There's a water tower. And down there is the insurgents base and over there is in certain space as well all right <laughs> that's gonna be it for this video hope you all enjoyed that and I will talk to you all later